Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, my name is Julio Sanchez. My Muslim name is Khairi. Uh, I came to Islam in uh, 1989 on Thanksgiving Day. How I came to Islam is uh, quite interesting. Um, uh, my, my wife, who I've been married to now for about 20 years, had interest had given interest to me in Islam, and uh, you know I I was patient and and she was patient as well as as learning about Islam herself. She always wanted to be Muslim, but out of respect, you know, she waited till she moved out of her parents' home, and then she accepted Islam. And 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 then at that time, uh, I was engaged to be married, and she would send me. Um, information about uh, Islam, uh, uh, about the Quran, and and you know at this time she was living in Virginia, and I was living in New York, and um, it was very intriguing what I was reading because uh, for myself I I always believed that there was one God, but I always knew that He was the unseen, and uh, I could never imagine you know being able to see someone who was such as such as great as, as Allah that you know the creator of the world and, 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 of, and of the universe to imagine what he would look like so I never could perceive a, 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 a visual look of what he would be like so being that I knew there was you know I knew there was one God and and so as I read and I read you know the material that my wife sent me um, I became more and more and more interested in it. Um, there was times that my wife kind of doubted that she says, no, I don't want you to do something because I'm doing it. And I, and I quickly told her, I said, trust me, if it's something I don't feel is right, I won't. But as I learned, learned more about Islam, I became more and more interested in it. And uh, prior to me, uh, before I moved from New York, I went and visited my my wife, who was at my, who was my fiance at the time, and uh, she introduced me to an imam. Uh, mashallah, he is a very very kind brother, and uh, I sat in the masjid there in Norfolk, Virginia, and met a couple of brothers and got to got to see Islam, you know, on a on a live basis and uh, around brothers who were Muslim. So I just kind of like fell into the fell into the uh, flow of, of what was going on and uh, what really caught my attention one day was when a sister needed help and uh, she had to move out of an out of an apartment and um, so without a doubt these brothers said look we got to get this sister out of here because she needs her and her children need to be in a safe place so so I said well you know okay they asked me do I want to go I said sure fine I'll go and what I loved about the, the what the brothers did there was there was no static about oh I don't have no you know I'm not going to do this or do that or there was any uh, discomfort in helping his sister it was very positive and and you know being that they wanted to move this sister to a safe place you know it was quickly done and in the midst of doing this I just looked at the the humbleness of the brothers that were helping the sister and I really took to that and I really took to the help, you know, because I've I've been in places, you know, before Islam where you ask someone to help and you would get a lot of negative feedback about the individual who needs the help. And and in this situation it was no such thing. And that really that really uh took to my heart, you know. Um because I've grown up I've grown up in a family that has always been willing to help anybody despite, you know, my family's not Muslim. But they work in, you know, they did things for people despite the cause. And I guess that rubbed off on me as well, alhamdulillah. Um, so after doing this thing to help this sister out, you know, I went back to my fiancé in the set and talked to her about what happened. And, and then, uh, so she said the imam invited us over to their house, you know, for, for some dessert. 
And uh, as I sat there in his living room, we were talking about Islam, and he was telling me about Allah and the angels and, and, the, and the, 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 the importance of the Qur'an. And, and it's just like everything he told me, just I just absorbed it. And uh, I was taken aback by, you know, some of the things he said in comparing to what I already had read. And I was like, wow, you know, this is true if we really think about it. And so right there in this living room floor while we were eating some pie, I, I took my shahada right there on this floor. And uh, he and his wife was the two witnesses. And, uh, you know, after that, I, you know, that weekend down, down there, I went back to New York on a bus reading the Koran from Virginia to New York. And uh, it was kind of an experience for me because now I was all alone back in New York. Basically, there, I didn't know any other Muslims around, and I had a introductory sheet on Islam for, for new Muslims that would teach me how to pray, make wudu, how to recite the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, how to do the salat, so to speak. Um, and I would be in my room, you know, with the paper on the floor, looking down at it as best as I could see it, and trying to recite the al-Fatiha and, and, the, and the short surahs that came with it performing my salat and uh, and as I you know kept learning more and more about Islam every day I was just blown, blown back back by the things that I was learning and, and I was like wow I mean this is this is what I've been looking for and uh, Alhamdulillah Allah blessed me with that and um, you know and I I compared the Islam with my with with uh, with how you know things should be, you know, life has an order, and if we follow it, it becomes very simple. But when we when we take things out of context and, and we take things out of order, then it becomes a struggle. And and Islam is not a struggle if we do what we're supposed to do. Um, Allah has made this deen easy, and it's simple. And and any time you're struggling in Islam, that means you're not doing something right. You know, so I I encourage uh, um, all the Muslims and, and those who are interested in, in Islam, give it a chance and be patient because um, Allah is going to give you what He feels He thinks you should have without doubt. He will give you what no other person can and He can take from you what no one can give you. So um, I, I really uh, have, uh, you know, uh, in, encouraged, have, 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 have a, a great uh, feeling for this dean from the time I, I heard about it, read about it. Um, my background a little bit, I came, I came back, I mean, excuse me, I came from uh, Newburgh, New York. Uh, I'm one of, the, one of six children. And growing up in the neighborhood I grew up, you know, there was a lot of fitna and stuff like that that you would see. And uh, this this type of fitna, you know, you get tired of seeing it, and and then some of the things I were involved, I was involved with, and I just, you know, kind of fed up with it. I'm saying, you know, I'm getting older, and and things have to change, and so, I, that in itself is what put me on a path to look for what was what would be best for me, um, and so, you know, in life we all go through tests, and my test swerved me over to Islam, alhamdulillah. Um, I uh, had a little, you know, difficulties, you know, uh, coming into the dean. But as as time went on, you know, I was able to rid myself of those things that were giving me, you know, problems. Um, I remember a, a time when I did my first Ramadan, when uh, me and my wife was in the supermarket shopping for fruit, and um, being I was fasting and, and we were picking grapes and I just accidentally put a grape in my mouth and I, and, and I mean that was the best tasting grape I've ever had in my life but not acknowledging at the same time I was fasting and once I acknowledged that I was so scared you know I said oh my gosh I, I, I ate a grape and I'm supposed to be fasting you know and then, I'm, and then I remember from reading in uh, the Hadith of Bukhari when uh, Allah says that uh, if 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 one accidentally eats a you know fruit while he's fasting, 
and doesn't realize it, then Allah has meant it meant for you to have that. And when I read that, it took a big burden off my shoulders because I was so worried. But you know, alhamdulillah, that that in itself tells you how how Allah is merciful. And so you know, that was just one of the things that I've uh, I've been I uh, went through it during my time of coming into Islam and uh, the meaning of other Muslims. MashaAllah, I mean, I've never felt so much warmth and love from other brothers in, 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 in communities that I've, I've seen in my time, you know. I've been quite a few places. Uh, I've met Muslims from all over the world, and it seems the attitude is all the same. You know, they come at you with a smile and a hand, you know, they're willing to invite you over, uh, share some time, drink some tea, uh, uh, just talk, you know, and that's the beauty of this dean, you know, we don't shun away from anyone and our arms are constantly open. Um, I've never had a bad experience in Islam where where someone was, re was you know, was it, was it, was, you know, felt, felt anger towards it or anything like that. I never felt that from anyone. Um, so, you know, as, as, as I was learning this deen, um, when, I, when I accepted Islam, I, I was kind of worried a little bit because uh, I didn't tell anyone that I was going to accept Islam. Uh, so, you know, after I took my Shahada, I came back. I was kind of worried how my mother would, you know, feel about it. More so my mother than my brothers and sisters. I didn't really, didn't really matter how they felt, but you know, because me and my mother are so close. And so when um, I told her, and she says, well, son, you know, you've always been a good person, and uh, you've never really done nothing to hurt people, so I don't see where this will make you a, a bad person, you know. And uh, so I was, I was really pleased to hear that, you know. Because sometimes you have people who revert to Islam and they don't get along with their parents and, and they have a lot of controversy within their families. But alhamdulillah, you know, it went okay. And uh, my brothers and sisters, you know, they may have had a comment or two, but, you know, life went on. And so after accepting Islam, uh, a month later I got married and then I moved to Virginia. Um, uh, I got married in December and... Uh, and then everything else had really changed for me. You know, I was, you know, amongst the brothers all, all the time, uh, going to lectures. My main focus was to learn more and more and more about Islam and, uh, and to, uh, to better myself, better my adab, to better my, uh, my, my vision of, of, of what Islam is about. And, uh, you know, to do things in a, in a righteous way. Uh, sometimes I, kind of got excited about learning Islam because when you meet your old friends you want to you want to express yourself and of course you may get the different type of feedback that you don't expect but then there's a time you have to you know just to be be silent you know and Allah says only say what you know and not that what you don't know so there was times I had to catch myself from you know being overexcited and spreading what I have learned um, uh, you know, after accepting Islam, I, I, I made dua to Allah that He had blessed me with a few things, you know. And one was to be able to, to make Hajj. And, and Alhamdulillah, He blessed, with, blessed me with that. You know, me and my wife made Hajj in 1996. And uh, I, 